God damn it, Cook. Kaku, I know you got work tomorrow. Go to sleep. What's up, Keo? about mid game and all that I really need to look at this beginning <laughs> get all this troublesome shit up the way H box hit box or hungry box hungry box he was hosting him oh Not even the stream of sight, see? Thought you can do some hitbox arcade stick goons. Started memeing for a bit. Yo, every time he can't help himself. He's a dirty memester. Does anyone here like memes? Every time, I already knew what it was. Does anyone here like memes? Fucking dirty memester. Tree man, now they got him doing it. What's up, bad fans? Well, well, well. Kyo, why didn't you hop on Mortal Kombat like everybody else? I know he only plays Street Fighter. 
Yeah. You gotta, you gotta push these hot new fighting games. No. Nope. Have to. See, that needs some jank. That is some jank now. Like, man. I'm not gonna say they force these new fine games because there's only certain ones they force. And I'm talking about the ones that got a lot of money backing into it. Tree Man's dead, see? He memed too hard and the meme police got him. It's gonna, Dude. Happen, it's gonna happen to the rest of y'all. Y'all follow his footsteps. <sighs> no. Quirky derp. Is that BTTV? That constant shittery comes back on you. Komodo was the last straw. Fighting your bay. Ah, man, oh, stop. <laughs> stop. You don't ever even see that word even be used anymore. Uh, I don't even know how that got picked up recently. Twitter? Fuck. Always Twitter. I'm gonna buy you a shit. No. <laughs> Just no. Just no. Stream. Nah, he tweeted at me telling me to stream. <laughs> he probably wants to host you because he was streaming. I no. I might, but not right now. I need some chicken. Yeah, I need some chicken. <laughs> then you're gonna go live? Maybe. You know Cook's gonna be dead. No, he's dead right now. He just went off. Oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah he'll probably be in here looking for you then. Oh, when it comes yeah. down to it, that's why they come in here anyway. <laughs> I come in here just to bug you to go live. Yeah. Enjoy your JRPGs, guys. <laughs> see too many. <laughs> Please. Damn it, that was serious. <laughs> Like, especially now that you're actually, uh, speedrunning again. Ah, uh, man. Well, sorry to say this, but... <laughs> might be less playing for a bit. <laughs> Damn. Oh, yeah, that's right. You did say Demon Souls. Uh-huh. I want to get on it. See, look. Over here, baiting folks. <laughs> you gonna speedrun for a couple of days and go right back to less playing. Yep. I mean, I'm not mad so at all. I really don't feel bad, especially because I'm not doing anything at SGTQ, so, like, fuck it. <laughs> True. Like, if I was, I would have changed some things up. I probably would have, like, still played Demon Souls, but, like, later. I will say this, though. What? Don't do them like you did with Dark Souls now. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I'm not. I'm gonna handle people things. People already got trust issues with you after that. <laughs> they gonna come in one day and see that you already beat the game and you rolling the credits. <laughs> Dude, Bird, it was like hella cheap. And then, like, no, Cook really wants me to play it. He was, 
You wanted me to borrow his copy just to play it. I was trying to tell you it should be less than like $15 now. It's an old ass game. Yeah, well, it's on the hard drive. Bought, downloaded, and installed, so I'm ready. Reminder that I missed out on another sale to get the Tales of Pack. <laughs> Dude, you didn't do. You ain't get shit. Nope. Damn. I missed out again. Yep. Rip me. Fuck. <laughs> It's all right. I would have bought it and I wouldn't have played it for years because I'm gonna finish the other games first. And by in that, in the, you know, in that time pass, there'll be another one. Watch. They always have another one. It's never the last. Like I give them props for doing all these damn sales, but most of the time it ain't shit on there I want. Like fuck. I actually saw more than just that. It was at least three things on that sale that I wanted, but I don't know. I just didn't feel like running to the store to get a PS card. I mean, a PlayStation Network card. What about using PayPal? You use PayPal on PSN now? Yeah, they got an option for it. Damn. <laughs> I wish I would have known that. <laughs> like, I still got like thirty dollars on my PayPal. Shit. Well, too late. <laughs> I seriously didn't know. Like, after the whole PlayStation Network, where you know it got busted and like all that information got yeah. out, like I don't want to even think about using my debit card on it. And I ain't feel like running to the store for a PlayStation card. You wanna know the funny thing? What? I used my card after they fixed all that. Man, they had my info. Uh, <laughs> as soon as I saw that PayPal op option, I pulled my card and all my info from there. So <laughs> I'm going with PayPal now. Uh huh. <laughs> I, mean, I didn't this, want to deal with them cards, man. I mean, at that point, you know, maybe I can use it because you know, like I think this is the last year my card is actually usable until I gotta replace it. Oh yeah. So like on the last month, I could just go ham. That's why they have another sale. I don't like right now. I can't see myself downloading it. Man, I don't know. I don't know anything about these new games. Y'all will have to understand that after the P after the GameCube PS2 era, I ain't played nothing past that. So 360, PS3, and all that, I ain't never touched those games. I, 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 I. Also bought Gradius 5 and Zoe 2. The hell is Zoe? Zone of the Enders. Oh, okay. Yeah, even if they are, I'm still gonna play them. And no matter what, it can't be worse than Tales of the Tempest. No game they will ever release, even if they try, will be worse than that. Wait, no, Steam Summer Sale now. Might go ham, depending. Not if they're PT tier. Then they get removed. Damn. <laughs> Like, even if you already downloaded it at some point, you still can't get it back. Dudes over here selling their play PlayStation 4s for 1000 plus dollars. And people buy them, too. Making some mad money off that. You can buy two PS4s of that kind of money. Even after the fact you gotta ship it out. And after the fact eBay gets a cut of that later. Mm-mm-mm. -hmm. Can still afford two PS4s. Oh, when you pay for a game. Uh, I don't know about that actually. I don't know if PT is a special case with that or not, because that, you know, I've never been in that situation. I would hope so if you paid for it, but PT was a. You know, a free uh, demo. That would be real messed up if you actually paid for that at some point. Now, 
is gone forever and you can't get it back if something happens to your PlayStation. Because, like, as long as you get it on a certain account, you should be able to re-download it. I remember at some point I was hearing, like, on PSN, uh, they were trying to implement something to prevent people from, like, sharing accounts so you, people can, like, download, re-download games off of you using your account. So I think you only got a certain number of uh, downloads or something. Because I remember I was going to make a, um, a shared account with us. Remember that? I brought that up before, SJ. Mm -hmm. But I think you can only get like a max of three downloads or something. Three re-downloads. I don't know if like that actually happened or not. It's just something I heard from somebody. Okay, two. All right. So I was one off. Man, ba backwards compatibility is gone. Just keep your old consoles, man. Yeah. I brought this up with some people, and it's like. What was it? It's like something, it'll be more of a task on them for the console to put in all this extra hardware so you can run these old ass games. But then again, I don't know how the fuck backwards compatibility actually works. Don't know if you need like different disc readers for past uh PS3, PS2, PS1 games or what. Or just extra hardware just to have them run. PS3 should have dropped in price. I mean last time I checked it was definitely not as much as when I first bought it. And I didn't buy it when um the first uh version of them came out where it actually had PS2 compatibility and all that. I ain't buy it till the slims drop. Damn, they're headed this way right now. Time back up of that. All right, that's one dumb part out of the way.
I don't think I've ever had her die on that part and win, so... I really hope she has... Power Hammer by the Double Golem fight, because... I don't think I can afford to... I don't even think I can even win that without it, to be honest, without going after the Hourglass or something. So hopefully she gets some crazy levels off of the next two required fights. I dropped the money just for Demon Souls. Because I played that on my friend's PS3. And that was back before I didn't even care about anything on the PS3. So Star Warrior, I'm alright. How are you? Boy Braster already did a speedrun of Zestiria, and the game ain't even out here yet. I think he did that run like already routed it and started running it like one. I think within one month of the game coming out over there. Already dropped a video and everything. He ain't even doing Tales of right now. He's speedrunning Xenoblade, I think. stays busy. I gotta look into that Amarac audio fix that Hippie talked about. Cause now I'm interested in that. So let's see, what time is it? It's only 2.25. After the one hour mark on my timer, if I lose a run there, that'll probably have to be it. Just because of the limited time I have. If it was the weekend, I'd actually fire up another run no matter what. around and had these damn girls fat as fuck. Huh? They always feeding your emotes. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> you always feeding them cake too. Don't ever use the Angus beef. Don't ever use the Kool-Aid. I had some other food in those too that I was gonna put up, but I was gonna hold off on it for the time being. Man, 
I'm alright with mashing. Immediately though, I wish the text was as fast as Destiny though. Nancy, a bottle actually dropped. Now that's rare. Lethal, I find it real weird that you're doing all these emote combinations, but you ain't using the ZFG one that you always used to do. Ain't sub to it no more. It's okay, I got knockoff ogre. For you folks who can't afford run ogre from GFG. Really sucks because Alpha Particle let me use that emote. But Alpha Particle doesn't even stream anymore. I miss a comfy Alpha Particle stream. blocking so many of the arrows but my attacks are hitting them pretty often. Alright, I gotta lay off on the orange joes. Gotta be close to dying anyway. There we go.
Okay, I got one holy ball off him. That's actually a good drop. Because the double golden fight always gives you two. That should hold me through some fights. I might just get one before the teleporter. I don't know. I don't think I've ever gotten this drop before. That's not something that happens too often. Please don't get killed. Right. Nice. Yeah, it's just the fact that you, um, you're so weak in the beginning and the strongest weapons you can have, which the Night Saber is fire based and they're actually resistant to fire, so you don't do a lot of damage to them. I think they have like 200 HP each. And they can block like. I just went the wrong way. <laughs> but yeah, you can, um. When you fight them, they block a lot of your attacks. They can do decent amount of damage each punch. They're just straight up tanky. It's just the next fight that really scares me because you have to really rely on Pow Hammer stunning the right golem. Like the left golem is literally right behind you as the battle starts. So you can just start to wail on him and you have to like take out the left one before the right one reaches you. And you do that by uh, spamming Pow Hammer and hoping the stun time can hold him off long enough to where you can kill the one on the left. If it doesn't happen and they sandwich you in, that's pretty much rip. And like the consistency for killing the one on the left can really vary because, like I said, like they can block and stuff a lot. Uh, I think I have a good uh, strat for it. It's not 100% foolproof, but I think I got a really good strat for it. I messed with uh, it some more today and I haven't lost since. But that was only on the first one. The first one, honestly, the first one worries me more than the second one. Even though he's beefier in the second one, he's by himself. In the first one, he's got two Dark Lords with him, and they can cast some bullshit if you don't stop him. Wait, 240 gigabyte SSD for $78. Gonna jump on that SJ. Yeah, what? 240 gigabyte solid state for $78. Uh, man, if I need it. No, I don't need it. <laughs> I mean, nice and all, but I don't know. I, like, if anything, I get another uh, internal. But nah, 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 I'm good. Though. I feel like by the time I get another internal, like, size state drives would be much larger in size for lower prices. DSS really wants me to get one. <laughs> It's pretty nice. I imagine. It's not getting stunned. Aw, oh, fuck. Now this is what scares me, because if he gets hit one more time, I think he's out. And I can't afford him to die. This golem on the left should be close to dying. Alright. We in there as long as he somehow doesn't run out of TP and... No! 
gonna have to heal me. Yeah, Max. All those uncompressed music files you got. Aw, oh, fuckles. I'm actually gonna have to give her the orange gel for this part now. Save this last sit, this uh, last heal. Oh man, he tried to use that move. Yeah, I forgot to mention that they got a move called Machine Gun Knuckle, which is like a five-hit combo punch, and that'll kill anybody. They catch you in it. It's not something they really use too often either. There we go. All right, I'll take that. Well, it drops a hammer on uh, an enemy's head, and there's a chance that it'll stun them. You pretty much use it for uh, boss fights as well to try and stun them. It doesn't always work, though. I don't know what the percentage is. I think it's based on whatever enemy you're using it on. But more or less for that fight, it was just used as a stall tactic because there's two golems on the leftmost side and the rightmost side of the... Uh, battlefield yeah, you're pretty much trying to kill the one closest to you before the one on the right can reach you so you use that attack to try to stun him and try to you know stall him while you take the one on the left out I'm not sure how big of a chance it should be pretty often it's not a rare chance by any means but But a game with, like, luck involved, you can still get screwed over by it. If you were to put a gun to my head and I could, like, throw out some random number, I'd say, like, 70-80% chance of it stunning. It's just really often that it works. There's just sometimes it won't. But I'd say it's pretty reliable. A safer strat, I'd say, is um, right before uh, that door I went to in that main hallway. There's these other doors you could go through that have these um, coffins that you can open and have mummies. One of them has an hourglass. You could quickly kill that mummy and save the hourglass for that fight. And that could be a more reliable stall tactic. I think the hourglass lasts for about five, six seconds. And it completely stops them to where they can't move. That could be enough time on top of using Power Hammer. That is like if you're really, really scared of that fight. Um, you can hit them both. If you are able to get them both on one side. The problem with that is you don't start with manual. If you were able to start with manual, like at a run past the one on the left or try to do something like that but there are some cases where you can um, have a setup like that <laughs> why you ran up to him and got body Damn, they all fucking. <laughs> Damn. But yeah, uh, why he ran up to him like that? I guess the text was running too fast. He was about to do another laser on all of us, and he did that to stall him. The um, other dude was uh sending us back to the past to find a way to kill him. So in the present, which is when that happened, 
he ended up killing Morrison off. But what happens while you're in the past, you meet uh, two other party members. You kill, uh, you beat Dallas in the past, but he time travels to get away. Then you find a way to travel back to the present, and you travel just right before you um. It was right after Morrison uh sends you off to the yeah. past, so you come back and fight him again. That's why you gotta fight him twice. But the modern version of him is stronger than the one in the past. But at least in the modern, he's by himself. That's a one good thing about it. <laughs> As the story will tell you, though, he can only be affected by magic, and that's complete bullshit because <laughs> the strat involves you jump attacking in his face and smacking him. Although magic does play a huge part in beating him, it's not the only way he can be damaged. But yeah, pretty much, Dallas can travel in time and uh, escape from getting killed. So the story pretty much revolves around a way and trying to beat him and prevent him from traveling in time. And eventually, you're able to get a sword that can um, control time itself, which prevents him from time traveling getting away. So that's why in the final fight, you actually kill him for good. And that fucking laser attack, if he hits you with that when you fight him, it's game over. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Like, the whole strat pretty much revolves around preventing him from doing that. Like, there's a backup strat for it. I have somebody in the back, like, have a, a spell on standby that'll knock him out of doing that. Because it doesn't even take him long to use it, which is stupid. For a strong-ass attack like that, I think it takes him about 1.5 seconds to, to start it. Like, he'll be in this animation to use it, and then, like, the flow of battle will stop while he's charging it up. So you have to sit there and wait for it to actually, you know, the animation of the move to start. And then that time, you know, like, you can let go of the uh, shortcut button to use Sylph, and it'll cancel it. If you hit him while he's doing it, it stops. But the problem is, the fact that the whole battle stops while he's charging it up, you can't really stop him during that. So your only way of stopping him is right after the laser's actually coming out. Mm -hmm. And it's really stupid because the boss has a really high chance of stunning you when he smacks you. So he can do that, take a step back and then do it. And you have almost no way of stopping it that way. And another thing he can do, even though you stop it the first time with your standby spell, he can do it again right after if uh, Chris can't get back up and try to hit stone him again. So that's why it involves you being in his grill the entire time, because if you're in his face, he won't do it. But if you're yeah. far enough away, he'll do it. And he only seems to really do it after you do enough damage to him. He won't do it at the very beginning of the fight. Damn, fucking Kamehameha wave. That's what that shit is. <laughs> that's what I've been calling that. That's what it literally is. Like his animation for charging it looks exactly like it. It's so dumb. It doesn't help the fact that you're under level and you can't take those type of hits. I think you can live through it if you're like high enough level, but you're like, I think at that point you're like 10 levels under or something like that because you escape all encounters and whatnot. And eventually that starts adding up. Not to mention you really don't equip your characters with the best armor either. The, I think the only armor change you make is just one throughout the entire run through. But those first two fights with him are pretty much the, besides that beginning part that I just got through with, are probably like the most threatening parts of a run. But I still don't think my strat's 100% foolproof. Like, it hasn't failed me yet, but I haven't been thrown into, I guess, a bullshit enough situation. Jay Witt. 
What's up? <laughs> <laughs> The difference, it's pretty big, to be honest. Um, that was the first Tales of game to ever be released, so the battle system is quite different. I don't even know how I can explain it if like, you've never played a Tales of game. Like, um, I know in the Super Nintendo version, like you have special skills, techs, or whatever you want to call them. They've ch changed the name of them throughout the series, but for special skills in the Super Nintendo version, to use a... They're like separated in different categories. You have like long range spells and short range spells. You can't use long range spells up close and you can't use short range spells from far away. Which limited, you know, kind of limited you in a, in a way. You also can't use uh, the manual um, control scheme. You were stuck to semi-auto. Which what manual lets you do is have complete uh, free control of your character. Meaning you can double tap left or right to dash, uh, press up on the D-pad to jump, and uh, what else? Yeah, that's pretty much it. It's just free control. Uh, the control you start out with is semi-auto and auto. Like you, you can press the select button to switch between the control schemes. Later in the game, I'll get something called a technical ring, which will allow me to switch to manual, but I have to equip that in one of the accessory slots. But semi-auto pretty much restricts you because when you make an attack, your character automatically runs towards the enemy and then attacks. And manual, if you press the attack button, you attack right there in place. And also, um, after you do your attack or action or whatever you input for, for what your character to do, they also automatically run back to the place where you first did the action. And manual, that doesn't happen either. Most of the run is in semi-auto. It's not too deep in the run where you get the technical ring, it's just semi-auto is actually a lot more convenient. And auto mode is pretty self-explanatory, the computer plays uh, the character for you. So honestly, you could actually do a playthrough of the entire game here or any of the Tales of Series games with having all your characters computer controlled. That's if you cared to do that. And right here I'm gonna enter a secret password to this first before actually entering the password that opens the door. Gives me a blue treasure chest inside here that has a really strong sword that'll pretty much be my main weapon for majority of the game. Can't use it just yet though, I need a room bottle since a, it's an uh, unidentified weapon. Unidentified items can be changed into what items they actually are with the room bottle. Yeah, some people prefer semi-auto, but I can see how some people would like semi-auto. Uh, you don't have to actually like move towards the enemy and make an attack. Like it moves towards them right for you. Just I like having complete control. And that gets me the Slayer Sword, which is about 
nearly 200 points stronger than the weapon I currently have. So a lot of bosses and enemies are going to be falling pretty fast. I'll be back. Right. Too bad you can't use, well you do use summons in a few situations, but mostly summons just are more of a time waster than actual help. If you're going to use summons in a run, you're doing it more for like a safety thing than actually trying to beat something fast. Yeah, you can co-op in almost every Tales of the Game. I think the only one you can is the Super Nintendo version. Because that was the very first one, but I'm pretty sure right, right after that one, yeah, you can co-op in any Tales of the Game. There's actually a co-op Tales of Symphonia speedrun on SDA. Segmented somebody did years back. But yeah, co-op speedruns of Tales of the Games would actually be pretty legit. The thing about it is, they don't delete their things unless somebody beats it. Like, no matter how outdated and bad it is. Like, somebody literally has have to submit a run that beats it to remove it. Um, there's a number of chests in the beginning of the game that actually has money in it. Uh, each elixir that you sell is 5,000. There's other things as well, like 
throughout the game, like I go out of my way a little bit to pick up a couple of items that cost a lot of money because right before I go into Dallas's castle for the first time, I'll buy a mystic symbol, which is the most expensive accessory in the game. I think you need to have about nearly 400k in Gal before that part. But after you sell all that stuff, you should easily have that much. The only way I see something like that happening if like they all gathered to like a marathon or something. Alright, about to check how strong this is. And that's just a taste of how strong the sword actually is. I'd be all for a co-op run. It's just like... If like anybody from the MHC actually live within like driving distance of my house, like I could like get them to do it and we could probably get one set up but like the only way I see that happen is if we do it like a ESA or something because GDQs ain't gonna allow that I just can't see that happening Tales of just don't get that dosh like Final Fantasy does. By the way, the reason I go after the uh, red ones first is because they're able to cast spells. The other ones aren't. So your priority should be to take out the red ones first. Oh no. Probably should use another holy bottle here. I'm always bad at this rock thing. I always think it lands in the hole and just a tad bit off. Oh yeah, there's crystals for life also. Well, it's not called crystals for life anymore, it's RPG limit break. Crystals for Life is dead. And I think that's still in Canada. So that'd be a trip for me. But no, I'd rather just go to ESA and do it. I mean, thinking about trying to make an ESA thing happen. At least sometime next year. Not 100 on that yet, though. Also, this stuff is damaging me, if y'all didn't know. But they can't kill me. Turn up the game audio. Cypher, what the hell? <laughs> is the game audio that low?
don't know, I haven't checked my uh, mic to game audio balance in a while, so if it's... Like, if my mic is actually overdoing, like, the game audio... Honestly, though, like... A lot of my viewers don't tell me if, like, there's actually, like, a really big problem with my stream. I actually streamed last night a little bit, and the game audio didn't play at all. Okay, I am listening through this through headphones, so I could try to turn it up. I have to also, like, mess with this a lot. Yeah, it's at 9. Also, keep in mind that since I'm using Amorek, it's, like, distorting a little bit. Alright, I bumped it up a little bit. My mic like picks up everything, so y'all can probably hear like me mashing through text and stuff like that. That might actually be louder than what the game audio was set to. It's just y'all gotta like help me out with this, cause I can't listen to the stream and the uh, be streaming at the same time. Not even mashing too hard really, but that's just how my mic is, it just picks up everything. Oh shit, I'm retarded. <laughs> Should I even hit it? Whatever. That doesn't really matter. Honestly, you won't miss my fan, because if I turn it on with this mic, you're gonna hear it pretty well. Like, I've actually been turning my uh, fan off before I go live, just so it doesn't like blow y'all up. Maybe back then with like my old headset, where it didn't pick up everything in my room, that would have been fine, but I don't think anymore it's acceptable to have my fan on. And honestly, like, you know, the fan's like another thing for me. It's not really loud to me, but I guess it's just my mic. Well, Teleco, I got AC, man. That's the only way I can. If it was hot, then I'm sorry y'all are going to have to deal with it. So I just noticed I actually gained time on that split. What the hell happened? I was so late on hitting that. That really should have been a goal, but I don't care too much to actually 
go back when I complete this, or if if I complete this. But after I complete this, I'm going back to the Japanese version. Like, I already know I'm going slow by even playing this version. So if I finish this run, it should be about 7, which is perfect. It's about when I stopped last night. What's up, DJ? SJ just had to leave when you had to come in. That ain't even gonna be enough. It's not like I got anything to lose. I got plenty of holy bottles.
reason I'm talking to this dude is because uh, his brother back in uh, Belladin will give me Cyclone later on when I go talk to him after I told him that I talked to his brother here. Cyclone's another spell I'm gonna be spamming here soon. It's assigned lightning tiger blade, so I should be ready. DJ, as far as I know, there's no right winger for this game. So, Fierce Kill, now you got all that time off, you gonna do some streaming? What happened to Code Veronica, man? in my PB the fight that I had here was actually really really good I don't think any of the wraiths actually use tractor beam which is doesn't happen too often Might as well play, get my 
show just in case. Yo, there's one tractor beam. As long as he's not spamming, it shouldn't be too much. Alright, I'll take it. What's up, Kane Apache? Oh, you my stream? Yeah. I was talking about, uh, I think it was you that was talking about you were gonna learn, uh, Code Veronica and try to do some runs of it. But you also brought up that it was a really, really hard run. Oh, you got a one. Oh, snap, you actually did it. How much of that, uh, how much was, I can't talk right now. This always happens when I'm tired. Um, how much time did you save when you got that PB? That's what I meant to say that. Fella, seriously, like, that even, like, proves my point even more. Every time I try to watch somebody, they'll have, like, a really, really hard time trying to PB or getting a run going. Every time I leave, like, they get, like, some massive PB. And I'm hardly ever around to, like, see anything like that start up. Because every time I go in there and, like, watch you, like, You'll have a green split, but then, like, something will happen. Yeah, be honest. That is the easiest, well, one of the easiest boss fights. That and no. Actually, these next two are easy. <laughs> Probably just use my last one here. So besides like the very first floor of Gnome's Cave, there are no random encounters.
touch that guy right there, you get into a fight. Just gotta bring this other little dude with you. Too bad he takes a really, really sweet little walk when he's following you. Luckily on the, uh, the room where they're actually at, all you have to do is like reach them. You don't actually have to wait on them. So it doesn't take too long. Awesome fight. Okay. Watch this. And there's your fight. Oh, uh, my splits. The left number means how many times I completed a run, and the right split means how many attempts I've done. So only two times. This is still in the early stages, and it's far from being an optimized or a decent run, so... I'm not good by any means. Almost forgot that. Actually, gotta move him up front now. But yeah, that's the reason you get Cyclone. It also has, I think, one more use in a boss fight. We'll go ahead and use this holy bottle. That boat ride. <clears throat> Should have checked how many holy bottles I have left. I'm acting like I ain't got any more. DSS with the host. Wait, why are there five viewers in your stream? No, 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 no. DSS ain't the dead one. That's a uh, Shadow Jacket, man.
Esche is just Im completely unpredictable. This keeps making me type a one in my notes. Well, he's about to be retired from speed running again because he's about to start another Let's Play up. He was talking about. He was gonna do Dark Souls. I mean, not Dark Souls. He already did that. I mean, Demon Souls. He said he was gonna pick up on Demon Souls here soon, because he bought it off the uh, PSN store. There was a uh, really huge ass sale that went on last week. It's probably long gone by now, though. Alright, see you later, Rixer. That's a usual fight with them. <clears throat> Nothing really too special with that one. Now the next one, I can actually get some time back on because... Ah, that's another thing I should have looked into before I went live. The guards. I don't know what their field of vision is. But yeah, I think in my PB I failed that like eight, nine times. <laughs> So, I can't imagine I can do too much worse than that, but...
What's up, Maloof? Watch me mess this up like a thousand times again. Now this guy, I think when he goes right up there, like right now. I waited too long. I couldn't get around that corner for some reason. Yeah, I got caught again. As expected, though, I really need to look into like when's the time to go. Seems to be like a really short window. I got it. What the hell? Maybe I need to just hug that wall. I think that's what it really is. It's just hugging that wall. But his field of vision is actually pretty far. And like the little. This little um, guard post or whatever, like the little area that he circles around, it isn't really that far away, to be honest. But I find it really dumb that he has his back completely turned to you and he can still catch you. Completely off screen and can still catch you. Still get that off. That's how much time you can lose <laughs> messing up getting past one guard. <laughs> mm. I like how you can still hear the owls, like just. It's just a little bit fainter. Because you're not as close uh, to outside being in this room.
I see what her skin low. I guess that's how you see her name. But uh something else. entirely depends on opinion, but in my opinion it is. I just think the Super Nintendo version's battle system's like hella outdated. the uh, short range and long range skill thing. Well, the GBA version is like... A lot of people don't like it. I'm alright with it myself. But the way like a lot of people react to it, you're probably just better off playing the PS1 version. But the GBA really is just a hybrid of Super Nintendo and PS1. Like it kept some things from the SNES version and it brought over some things from the PS1 version as well. So it's like a mix of them. Oh, it's not only European available. Oh, fuck. I'm supposed to pick the second option. <laughs> I'm glad he goes into detail of what you gotta, what you're buying before you actually confirm the whole thing. So I had to go on the whole boat ride and back. That would have been pretty bad. But yeah, the GBA version and the, uh, the Europe version of it, they actually did some fixes to it. Like apparently like the whole translating issues that the USA version of uh, the GBA version had were fixed in that one. And the text is different as well. I don't know, I've just seen people whine over like how the text looked as well. The PSP remake is based off of the PS1 version. If you're talking about the full voice edition, the uh, full voice edition really isn't too different from the PS1 version. It's probably, if you were to like compare any of them, it'd probably be those two. I think the only thing the full voice edition actually added that's actually different is when you beat the game, there's actually a grade shot. And that's it. But as the name suggests, every cutscene is fully voiced. Unlike in this game. So honestly, like as far as the game goes, there's really nothing different. Now if you're talking about like the cross edition, that's pretty different. That actually has like an updated story and the battle systems uh, updated. It's a lot more modernized. It's more combo oriented. There's more mystic arts. There's an extra character in the game. Oh, and not to mention you actually start with manual. That's another thing. Oh, and a lot of, uh, that doesn't seem to like matter to people, you know, casually playing, but as far as the text goes, you can damn near skip everything. Like the jingles that play when you get important items, you can skip that. I think that I would call that like the ultimate version of Fantasia. 
I knew I'd get surrounded eventually. Damn, my best split already. Gee. Nope. I'm slipping. Just straight up slipping. Most likely gonna lose time on this one though, but I expect to at some point. Uh, I think I used Silk for this part actually. That is not the guy I want to set that to. <laughs> I knew somebody would die. Oh dude, these slugs are supposed to be dead. It is a sloppy fight. What's up, Ishman?
there's a wall there. <laughs> Should be enough holy bottles to last me. The, uh, was that the game Caveman and that dude was playing? Mm-hmm. Oh, I wanted to play that. Oh. No, for real. Not even me, man. You did find me a copy of your guys. Dude, just do like me. Get a modded PS1. <laughs> and you'll be set on PS1 games for life. Never have to worry about that type of stuff ever again. What's up, dude? Serpent. Yeah. I'm like... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know any other serpent. Also, DJ is drunk as hell. Just letting you know right now. Oh, that's why he typed one. Uh-huh. Shit. Like, I think he had him a blast, whatever he did today. Damn. Oh, Cinco de Mayo? Oh, man. Oh, I keep forgetting about that. Okay, yeah, that's why. Man, shit. <laughs> I'm surprised my sister didn't do nothing. Like, whip out the blender. Wanna make some Damn. margaritas? Yeah. <laughs> she probably had other plans or something. actually going pretty smooth right now. It should until a certain part of the game, but that won't be in a wall. That's about 
two hours away. Yeah, I'm sorry for the story at audio, man. Like, Hippie told me a fix for it, so hopefully that works out for me. And the next time, yeah, I ain't gotta deal with that. Like, trust me, like, whatever y'all are hearing from my audio, I'm hearing it too. So, y'all ain't the only ones suffering with it. Like, trust me, it bothers me as much as it's bothering y'all. Vicious. Damn, where the hell was you at? Oh, that shit getting jealous. What? You shouldn't have told him. I don't know, like. You wanna go to like nah. a fiesta or something like that? Nah. What? Unless there's like Brazilians. <sighs> you and the damn Brazilians, you need to you need to quit. That Brazilian fever gonna get you killed. Oh, Brazilians? <laughs> <laughs> That's nice boobies, man. Oh, it's boobies now. It used to it used to be for the beaches. Yeah. Yeah, you messed up. <laughs> Ain't gonna go nice in no damn Brazil for some beaches. You're gonna go for the beaches, alright, not them type of beaches. Ah. Uh. Well, DJ, you gotta spell it correctly. Like, damn. <laughs> You're all over the place. So, DJ. If you're able to type it, tell us what all did you drink while you're at your little party. And that's a big if. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Oh. What identifies as Mexican shit. <laughs> I don't know if you think about drinks, man. Luckily, it isn't a bad layout. If there was two on each side, that would have been real bad, because these guys are really hard to kill and get out of your way. Lash should still be up. Surprised you don't got them on, like, Skype or something. I th well, when I was in his stream, he was speedrunning something. Might be gone by now, though. That was some time ago. Yup. This is what I was afraid of. Alright. Not often I'll do this. Step from it.
I forgot, Kyo, did you get to play the, uh, I mean, did you get to play Caleb at, uh, AGDQ? Like, I know you played that one dude, and y'all had, like, a big-ass session with, like, you fighting that Ryu player, but other than that, did you play anybody else? I doubt you ever got to do that third strike match with, uh, what's his name, Frankie Frame Skill. Because I don't think anybody even had that game with them in the first place. And I can already tell, like, you were hungry for a fight so bad, you were almost considering doing that. <laughs> Frankie's crazy. He cool, though. That whole room that he was in. She must have got it. Stop. Alright, this is really aggravating. Try to force yourselves to watch my stream this late. I guess obviously not suited for y'all to be here. Like if y'all gotta go sleep, go sleep. Go, go to sleep to the stream. Y'all keep talking about comfy. a second time. Ah, I should have used it as soon as I entered. I used to know that feel mimic. I used to know that too well. Fuck having a life and jobs and stuff. But at the same time, living that life, I ain't get no fucking money, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the, like the ultimate confliction, man. Just torn between those two things. You either live the neat life, have no money, but have all the time in the world for anything you want to do. Or you join that working life like me and got money, but you barely got time for shit like you used to. Sucks. I seriously think that pad's there just to mess with you. I have not seen a float pad in that room at all. And I still don't think it even exists. I'm retarded, by the way. one before the boss. Keyword should. I might get a couple more before I leave, but I want to save this last holy bottle for the way out. Did the fire just come back for like a split second? Or I left? That was weird.
Shit. I bet you do. Bang. Cause when I get out of work, I'm like, shit. Oh yeah, I got money. <laughs> Don't gotta worry about that. <laughs> I can go places. If I so choose, I can take a small trip someplace. Oh yeah, where you gonna go? I don't know. Like for real, one day I, I was like, "Shit, I just, I just feel like just going to Detroit." Really? Oh my god! The king is returning to his kingdom. You shit. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, I had to. Don't blame me. Blame the meme. Spanish fag. Damn, what'd he say? I ain't even gonna see going to Thailand. Oh, ah. Uh, <laughs> I know why he said that too. Yeah, Mimic know what's up. Mimic. Mimic! Damn. That is true. I mean, <laughs> I remember you brought it up before. I ain't trying to mess with them girls in Detroit. Fuck that. Why? They What's worse than here. Detroit girls are bad. Man, hood rats. Alright, <laughs> 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 some some look nice, but no, I ain't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. You don't like white girls. Whoa, I ain't saying all that. Look. <laughs> nah, I'm just. You, you know, some people be saying something like that. Yeah. Like, you don't like black girls? Oh, I see how it is. You want to get you a white girl. Pale white booty. You don't like pale skin. <laughs> Got that jungle fever. Yo, you should. <laughs> Stop moving. Oh my god, I'm about to die. Where are you going to be at? Oh, he has to be way up there. I'm gonna use another one because if he does another molecular attack. Okay. Kyo, before I answer that, what do you mean specifically? I already know where this is going. Y'all, 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 y'all are over there. Pontiac? Yeah, it ain't the bad. Like, you ain't hitting up the doo doo parts of Detroit. Can you name by name the doo doo parts of Detroit? <laughs> <laughs> Downtown. In Detroit itself. Just any part of it? Yeah, pretty much. Like any type of suburb or anything like that, it's usually pretty good. But yeah, Detroit itself is shit. Well I'd imagine if it was a suburb it'd be good. Like I don't wanna ever discover a place where the suburbs are bad. <laughs> like I go to a rich house and I get jacked. Hey, Death Knight. Ain't no boys, no. Um, uh huh. Why would I invite you to Detroit? I'm not gonna have anybody. <sighs> no. 
Hey, he's asking to go. Maybe he's actually interested in going. Like, like, just say, just, just have a disclaimer saying like, whatever happens to you, it ain't my fault. True. I mean, it should like, be like they volunteered. They wanted to go that bad. They wanted to see. Like, there will be crackheads. Crackheads. And don't go any to any dank neighborhoods. I think that's and, where they want to go. And if you're gonna be downtown, like avoid a lot of dark areas at night. That should be obvious, man. You can take the L, but I don't know about taking the L now. Like that might be dangerous in itself. Like it, I, I used to have a problem with that. Like I remember me and my cousin, we took that shit at like 2 a.m. Cause we didn't have nothing else to do. And we was just doing shit, and we just uh rode that around like fully, we rode that around the city. I'm supposed to be equipping Magic Mist for running away faster. Because I'm out of bottles at this point. Night DJ had a little bit too fun at um had a little bit too much fun over at Cinco de Mayo today, so you can only imagine what happened. Also, why you bringing up uh, that key? like your girl wants you to do it or something? Probably asking because you're always talking about booty. Oh, me? Damn, bro. That's my guess. <sighs> ah, shit. Hmm. <clears throat> I always leave it to Fierce Kill to bring up some weird discussions. Oh, do bird, really? Loosen up. <laughs> Why'd you have to point that out? Maybe I was just thinking maybe maybe he wasn't going there. Just just let it go. Nah, he was going there. <sighs> yeah. Y'all need to quit. Man, terrorism? Oh my goodness, I swear. I forgot who I was talking to that was like that as well. I'm like, damn. No. I ain't gonna <laughs> say nothing. Just my mouth got a zipper right now. You do have a bad experience, cause like, no, nah, let me shut up. Mm -hmm. What were you gonna say? <laughs> I don't, don't want to drag your chat to hell. I think it's already going that point. <laughs> 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 to be quite honest, I, I think it's a little too late. I mean. You're not at fault for it. Here's Fierce Keo bringing up that damn question. It sounded like Keo, it sounded like none of y'all knew what the fuck y'all was doing. 
That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, all it really takes is one person, man. Like, just accept it. <laughs> That's all it really takes. <laughs> we haven't scratched the surface, so I don't even want to know what it looks like actually being in it. I mean, I really want to say it's like, I don't know, what I'm trying to say is like, usually when there's enough people around, all it really takes is like, just one mention of something and then just everybody's on it. So it's not surprising at all. Please, damn! No! Just, just, just. We don't have these people going in. They're gonna find us some wants. things. I think that's what he wants, honestly. I'm like, fuck, dude. I'm trying to. Just, like, y'all just, y'all just need to let it go. It's just one question to ask, Shay. <laughs> like, don't mean like everybody gotta come out of the woodworks. People who were lurking just jump up, like, whoa, whoa. What y'all talking about? Samber say. To my name, Brad Dread. Leave that shit out. Yeah, damn. Like that wasn't Tim. Wow, you got offended by that? What? Uh, any big online community is weird. Time I've seen a set like this. But yeah, it's totally cool. Like I was saying, like you can only imagine like the first time viewers actually being in here lurking and they see a chat like this and they're just completely afraid to say a word. <laughs> they don't want no parts of this. This game ain't giving me no basilisk. I'm. Uh oh. <laughs> I know. No. Damn. I've honestly never seen you do this before, SJ. How does it feel to have the power of a mod? Fear me, for I have mod powers, and I shall ban you if I do not like what I see in the chat room. <laughs> I do it for free for no monetary compensation. Damn, 
I didn't get a single Pascal's encounter, and I'm already at the third one. That's some shit. Game's being stingy now. I can already tell I'm gonna lose some time off this split, even though it's nowhere near being finished. Uh, DJ, I would if you asked a question. <laughs> Just said I got a question for you, but then that's it. All right, perfect. What's up, Boston Brew? Yeah, every now and then I'll throw some random gif on here. Oh. Honestly, I think it might actually be better to put Chris right at the back so he can escape faster. And then change it back after this is over. It's a bait question, that shit. It's a bait. Kyo, shut up. No, you would. <laughs> DJ. Oh my god, I hate y'all. That's for shit. Basilisk skill number two. He's speaking drunk in English right now. My god damn. Hey Shay, you still haven't really been slammed yet, have you? Um not for the longest. For the long like you have at one point? Yeah. When was that? Uh It was once at AGDQ and then Except I wasn't around, y'all. Um. Oh, I see. <laughs> Wait, was it last AGDQ? No, it was this one. Okay. Huh. Yeah, you weren't around us for that. <laughs> I'm still surprised you never went into the swamp room. Not even once. No. Wait, you moved in with your girlfriend? Doesn't she live in Chicago? Poison. Yeah. That's not a big deal. Should be number three. Yep. So that's three out of five. Actually, she should have antidote by now. Yeah. Night chat, ladies and gentlemen. Put the kids to sleep. I can't control this. That's what I'm saying. It just happens, man. Honestly, my chat was overdue for some shit like this. It, the fact that it's gone this long without some crazy shit like this actually surprises me.
Okay, Schemo. <laughs> Yeah, but every I get sick of talking about it at some point. I only got about a minute to get two more scales. Alright, here's the fourth one. Hopefully I can get number five in about a little bit less than a minute. I feel like I'll get at least two more encounters before another Basilisk shows up. Yup. But then again I expected to lose time on this one. Sorry, DJ, but I can't make a do answer question. I don't have that type of power. if he doesn't answer a question like people really call me a Nazi mod after that <laughs> dude DJ why you want to know so badly though <laughs> Curiosity is off the chores. Suck. All right. Cinco de Mayo is that damn fun. Damn. Too bad it's on a fucking work day. I'm playing, you're not. Wait, Oklahoma's Mexican City? Oh, that was like Texas. But again, you're like right next to it, so.
Tennessee? Damn. Like, I'm in Florida, so <laughs> we got some. Quite a bit here. Not as much as, like, southern Florida, like Miami or central. We still got our fair share. Those Indians can make some nice ass curry though. You gotta look at the pros, not the cons. If they can make some dope curry, I'd be hitting them up for some of that. Still haven't had any of the authentic stuff. That's one thing, SJ. If we can find a spot with some, a restaurant, I'll ask you to make some dope curry. That's what you should do. Jazz sex works about that. For one of your boys. You can hit that up. Kicked out. Well, shit, you missed the whole thing I was saying. I was saying, S you can go to SGDQ, ask uh, one of your boys if they know a dope curry spot. I remember Sex Race bringing one up before. Yeah. So he's gotta know one somewhere. I gotta get you some curry. Yeah. Some of the real stuff. The real stuff. Yeah, I got a fat cat too. <laughs> it's not hard to get one. They just fucking <laughs> eat, sleep, and do nothing else. If they ain't got like another cat to mess with and run around the house to burn some of that fat off. Same thing with some dogs too. It just lays around all the time and eat. Don't go outside or anything like that. Just, just plump right up. Watch out, she might turn into one of those crazy old cat ladies. Man. Collecting cats. <clears throat> like, spending your money on nothing but food and shit. Got them running around the house and stinking it up. Mm. Don't even remind me. <laughs> Don't even remind me.
Should have took a few more steps. This is too many enemies. Strong ass bees. <laughs> I'm missing all this epicness in chat. Alright, see you later, lethal. Hope the epicness of chat didn't scare you off. Okay, that wasn't even me. He said. It was probably Kyo. Him and Kyo been like yelling at each other since yesterday. Damn. Probably longer than that, but if I already guessed it was him, if you, if you said it wasn't you. If I'm quiet, how the hell can I want more? I'm not 100% on it, but I think when um, i6 made the bot, he just took a bunch of Zen quotes and replaced the word Zen with Juan. God damn. I think that's what he did. I might, you know, not be right on that. <laughs> but he did say he was going to copy some Zen quotes. That's why he's called Zen Juan. One is not a sound, it is a mind state. Or some other weird nah. shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I was messing with this quite a bit off stream, so I shouldn't forget where to go. I seriously do wonder every time I see Zen Wan, and then I remember that Awu per minute bot somebody threw in here that one time, and then just never showed up again. Who the fuck owned that bot? And why have I never seen it again in my chat or anybody else's? Oh yeah, that's what I should do. That shit. You still got Alpha 3 on PS1? Yeah. Either you could bring that or I could burn it and bring it from my PS1. Alright. Like, I got Alpha 2 on my PS3, but... I think it'd be better if it, uh, I play it on my PS1 since I got more... Um, I got like... How many PS2 controllers now? I'm counting. 1, 2, 3 is in my hand. And 4 is over in the corner. Yeah, I got 4 controllers. So I got plenty of control. Oh, and five since I got a PS1 controller. Yeah, bring Alpha. Let's play some Alpha. Alpha boys. Oh, there was only like Ultra over at AGQ. Like, I'm gonna bring like all my fighting games that I got.
on fight cake oh uh, me doing a fighting game stream i wouldn't cross my fingers for something like that because first of all i am not you know amazing at them how did i get behind what and now i'm in front of them again okay that was weird but yeah um Maybe one day? I don't know. If I do it, like, it'll just be some random thing that I'll just decide to do. Star Ocean? Heck no. Even close. I like guess it could be close because the uh, same team worked on that stuff. Let me know. <laughs> I'm gonna stop you right there, let me. Oh shit, I was supposed to split. My bad. <laughs> it don't matter. My split back then was terrible anyway. Street Fighter Collection. Wasn't there an anthology on PS2? Yeah, they did do some. The anthology is the only one I know. What games are on the anthology again? Uh. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm asking you because you got more Street Fighters on PlayStation than me. So I thought you'd know. Okay, this is a Street Fighter. Alpha anthology. Okay, okay. So it's all three alphas. If I were to assume. Yeah. That one was actually pretty beast. I forgot. They did something with Alpha 3 that was like pretty damn sick. Yeah, because I remember my friend bringing over anthology on PS2 and we played a little bit of that. I just didn't remember which Street Fighters it was. Damn. I remember it had Puzzle Fighter on it too, I think. had like some other extra games on it. I ain't never played Puzzle Fighter though. Oh, there's a Street Fighter collection. And then there's the uh wait, what's this? Oh yeah, no, dang it. And the Street Fighter Anniversary uh collection. That had a special version of Street Fighter 2 and Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. Hmm. Then you you always told me the PS2 version of Third Strike really really sucked. It wasn't the arcade version. It was I forgot what it was based off of, but yeah. Okay, let me put it this way: since I bought it on PS3 when it came out, the online edition, and then there's that PS2 version. Which one's better? I can't really say myself. Because <laughs> honestly, I'll play either. Like, I don't really care. Oh. Like, the, the one off uh, on PSN, that's based off the arcade build. That's what everybody okay. busts nuts. DJ say PS3. <laughs> like, if I had it on Dreamcast or something, I wouldn't even ask that question. this last one because I'm about to buy some more anyway yeah actually used to tell me stories about him playing alpha on the PSP that game was my shit played the hell out of that that should be good that world tour mode shit dramatic battle shit Survival? Survival would be some bullshit. Damn, AI would be on some, on some bullshit. Did you say you hated fighting that fucking wrestler shit? Or Mika? Yeah. 
Cause I already know her move set and she be doing some dumb shit. Oh my god! And anybody in Alpha Three who had a fucking multi-hit grab will fuck you up. <laughs> Cause the damn AI would just get like the maximum amount of hits off that shit every time, and it'd be a ton of hits. I'm like, fuck this grab, man. Shit. Beat the fuck out of me. Nah, it was good shit though. I used to play that shit on the highest speed setting. That's what I missed. See, how did I forget that? Street Fighter 2 had that shit on the Genesis as well, the speed setting. Mm -hmm. Damn, what happened to that? Why don't they have it no more? You can adjust the speed, have a fast ass fight. Swipe, they already made some 3D KOFs. They did? Yeah. I don't know shit about KOF. I've never played any of those games. Hey, you just said a 3D KOF. You didn't say good. I never played them, but uh, I'm not really a KO Whip dude. Honestly, I didn't learn about KO until I think DSS brought it up like a few years ago. <laughs> I didn't even know it existed. Like, I played 97. Is that a 2D one? Yeah, 2D. And then, um, none of them afterwards. I just remember they had some dumbass bosses. <laughs> like, really, really fucked up. Is it more bullshit than Third Strike's motherfucking Yeah, it's resident? killing shit. Really? Compared to them goons. A boss that can fucking heal himself. Man. More bull than that. Yeah, it's more bull than that. At least you could manipulate Gil a bit. Like fucking, fucking, fucking. <laughs> One's that like who was that? Uh, I'm probably gonna fuck up these names. Goynitz. Um. Yeah, a lot of those CPUs are fucking just react to your inputs. They just know what you're gonna press as soon as you press it, and they already got a counter ready for it. Damn, these ain't even all of them. Um, I hate it when Mortal Kombat did that shit. Mortal Kombat 2. Yeah, it's a lot more. Bo oh, Mukai. Little fucker. <laughs> Remember, Geese being a little, a little bitch, man. <laughs> Damn. This game got a lot more bosses than I thought. Or this series, anyway. Fuck Rugal. Fuck God Rugal from um, Capcom vs. SNK2. That. Damn. Some old doo doo. Dicks. <laughs> I never fought them, but white look like some cheap shit. I gotta, I gotta see these bosses someday. Man. It's this one that was some other shittery I saw on YouTube. I was like, oh hell, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> oh ignis, ignis. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. How many fucking bosses does Caleb have? Does every K 
character have their own boss? It's like boss versions of some number characters, but not every character. Uh, shit. Wait. Is Usanare actually going to SGDQ? Yeah. What? Oh, Magaki. That's that. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Fuck a duck, like, damn. I saw a YouTube video of that, I'm like, shh, yo. Does he look like pure shittery? Pure shittery. Like, looking hella homo and beating your ass. Well, um, listen there, it's kind of hard sometimes when you have a criminal record of being one. It's hard, man. Can you feel me? Played against yeah. Gil, I thought he was just the dumbest shit ever. Uh, if you ever hear the term SNK boss syndrome, that's where they got it from. Oh, okay. Yeah, I never heard that before. Oh, shit. How many versions of Street Fighter 2 were there? <laughs> Ooh, that game got ported to death. Yeah, I can see. And then not even dead, the constant revisions. Damn. I just feel like I'm missing out. And, and son, like, each of those revisions at the arcade had different, slightly altered music. That pissed me off. Really? Yeah, that... Oh, shit, dude. Like, they actually changed, like, the theme songs, you mean? Not changed completely. It just slightly altered because the way they sound just a bit different. You could tell. Huh. But they... Let me see what they did. 
they did like on a couple of those versions they did change the credits music and even the intros a bit but yeah that those right there the was there said those like the main main uh different versions wasn't the one i think the one i played was new challengers i think that's one where they started featuring like characters like cammy and phalon i remember it was on genesis because i have it on super nintendo even though like that's supposedly like what you're supposed to be playing them on just remember because I had to press the start button to switch between punches and kicks. <laughs> Unless you had a six uh, button controller, then you were in there. talking got me thirsty. Yeah, uh, I don't know, like, I'm not trying to jinx myself by saying this, but I've been nailing that, uh, switch stepping puzzle pretty consistently, in practice of course, so. That's why I feel like I'll mess it up at least once in a run. Super Turbo? Okay. Now where can I get my hands on a game like that? Well, no, 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 no. Wist is the best version of that game that I can play. Like, did it get a port to PS1, PS2, or anything like that? did those too well. I got a Dreamcast though, so that shouldn't be a problem if I really wanted to get it. Dreamcast. I don't know how they did it, but they always had the best arcade ports. Put that shit on PS2 and they had problems up the ass. Dream 
cast them when that died. Damn. <sighs> Sucks balls. Dreamcast was just ahead of its time, man. Did it terrorism? Cause that would make sense. No, not like talking the uh, Neo Geo console that they those goons made. Chase Cousins. I don't even know if you saw this part yet, yeah, SJ. This is really the reason why I got that emote. Oh. You'll see in a second. Damn, Mimic. Shit. Oh, I had no idea, like... An extra arcade board inside the uh, Dreamcast. Was a DVD player. Hey, that was big back then. Yeah, you know how expensive those DVD players were. That's like the reason people wanted the PS3. Yeah. Because they had a Blu ray player on it. You know how expensive Blu ray players were when they dropped. Man. Okay, it ain't a dragon. I'm not salty. Is it the screen that always has that guy that goes that fast? That guy moves so fast, I don't even have enough time to react to that. Good thing they're all on one side of the screen, so... That was the same exact guy that got me last time. In the same exact screen. That guy will move so fast, you don't even have time to react to it. I sh did not want to do that. Okay. Another one. <laughs> Dude. Oh, now that there's one on the other side. Might as well just shortcut this, because I feel like I'll be using this a lot. Shit, trip mine. Thanks for the host, dude. Oh shit, I forgot to go in the stream. He was playing. He said it was a meme game. Oh shit. Oh, no, he said it was a shit speed game. That's what it was. I don't know what in the world that was, though, he, what he was playing. Trip. Yo, Trip, you an ass man. What? Where did that I'm come 
Just putting the man on the spot like that. Oh, Bok I remember that game. Oh, shit. That's what's up. <laughs> I could have avoided that one. I shouldn't. I keep moving diagonally in this part, though. I don't need to be doing it. This is a very bad monster to run into because he's just packed with HP. This is gonna be a long fight. Just the worst guy to run into. Damn, that was a clear lane. <sighs> that was a bad, 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 bad. Honestly, I didn't even like their movement. Like, they were just scattered. Ah, they're too far away. They might, they might not hit them all. Oh, hit them. <laughs> a lot of these dudes are moving fast, so I'm not liking this. I might get into multiple ones. Is she already running out of TP? So I'm using so many damn spells. I don't know what to do if I should try to move forward or go back. Yeah. I'm gonna get like three, because three of them were tracking and they were moving extremely fast. So that's just terrible, terrible luck on that part. Just god awful luck. Like, I think at the most, when it comes to runs, I've only had like maybe one move that fast and be tracking. There's three of them, so that's like three guaranteed battles. Unless I can get to the left of the screen in time, but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. Yeah. Might be two more battles to be honest. The problem with the whole thing is like they don't let you move in time. Like if you have a bunch of them all up on you at one time, like you only get like one step of movement before you get thrown into another fight. So I don't give you enough time to like try to adjust and get away. The same goes for escaping, because that's the reason why I'm not uh, retreating from these fights. Because if you do, we just get thrown right back in. Because they don't give you enough time to escape outside of the fight. So you'll just be right back in. I might as well just go forward at this point. I fought so many of these battles, it's just not even worth trying to reset the screen and have them come back. Okay, I actually got away. I had a feeling there'd be at least one tracking. All the trackers seem to be extremely... Ah, uh, That's gonna heal him. I casted right before looking at the, uh, the, the monster was. on PS1.
That's two silver dragons. If I don't lose time on this split, I'll be very surprised. Yeah, he's, this guy's tracking. He's just extremely slow. No. Oh. Nice. All right. We made it to the end. time but it's a lot less than I expected. Yeesh. Oh boy, it's almost that time.
man. Gotta stop it. It's gotta be a little bit slower. He thinks. Don't you cast anything, it's wrong. Okay, good. He's just chilling in the back. Cause that fool can cast something too. Somebody doesn't want to die. Damn, that was an improvement. Hmm. I grabbed up. It's time to give them up. Oh yeah, I didn't use a ring bottle on a charm bottle either. Just realized that. Gotta remember to equip a weapon too, because after that sky fight, they don't re-equip equip your last weapon, so they leave you with nothing on you. Get into a random encounter and have like nothing on you. of stuff to be honest. Which is also a good thing because this is where I gotta start putting my money together. Prison checks. Uh, that's ring. 
the sort of herbs anyway. Gotta keep the fight simple. Don't need that, don't need that. Okay. Three black onyx. One mythical mesh. One elixir. Strike X, Liver of Honest, and. Yep, that's enough! Okay, where's the Miracle Charm? Where is it? Oh, I see it. Why didn't that be a new item? Alright, got the Mystic Symbol. And the Miracle Charm gives you a 50% discount at stores, so it still costed about 365000 to be able to afford that. What a Mystic Symbol will do is decrease casting time by half, which is absolutely huge in the upcoming fights. Wait, I'm going the wrong fucking way. Got a little ahead of myself. Supposed to make a turn like that later on, but I did that one early. That kind of threw me off for a second. Glad that didn't happen in the actual war, because that would have probably given me a lot of encounters. Classifies a new item anymore, I guess. I am so ready for shittery. Go ahead and use one here. <laughs> ha! First try.
Dude, that was dope. I've been first trying that puzzle. I think that's like the fourth time in a row I've gotten it. If I count practice. Feels good, man. Make me a little quick pick up here. I remembered it, huh? That's the point of the gif. I don't want you looking at my eye. Do the run. Uh, you can look at his dunk failure instead of my run failure. Uh, this game's on a lot of things, but I'm playing the PS1 version. This will last all the way to Dallas's uh, boss room. It isn't too far away, but I don't know if this will give me enough steps for it. Nope, didn't think so. <laughs> Just killing me. Like, fuck that. 
I try to run away, you're probably gonna try to cast some shit again. Probably the worst two guys to get. Like right before the boss room too. What's up, Cujo? How'd your runnings go? I'm actually gonna have to revive this fool and all that. Uh, the Gara fight ain't nothing, it's just the next one. Three indignations will kill these guys. Uh, yeah, I saw I was in there when you were uh, doing your little testing. But I was about to go live, like I think, shortly after you were done. Alright, so the real fight's about to begin. This is where all the run comes down to. Technical lane. Okay, I gotta remember to turn these off. Alright, let's go. One Dow's hit with indignation. And one more. He's already casting stuff. Why'd I use that? Alright. Evil Lord should be gone. I hope this hits him, because he looks like he's about to cast something. Alright, dude. Switch the manual. A flare bottle. I have to hold Sylph. Why am I turn backwards? <laughs> what? Right, I'm about to switch her. Wait. One. Two. Three. Four. Oh shit. But go ahead and heal him just in case. Four. Did I think of Oh, whatever. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Alright. I'm gonna switch back over to indignation now. I think after three or four indignations hit him, he's out. Oh god. I was a little careless on the heels there. I hope that didn't stun me or I might be in some shit. Oh, that's bad. That is so bad. How did he do one? Aw, oh, fuck. This is bad. This is really bad. <laughs> Okay. Thank God he didn't do it again immediately, because he can do that. 
because the PSP version is different, they'd be different, completely different games. It'd be dumb to compare them. Whoa! Alright. <laughs> Base Sylph saving my ass. Alright. I can still I can still win this. It's all good. Got him, baby! <laughs> Dude, when I got killed, I was so scared because I knew he was gonna do the laser. See, all this, what this whole strat revolves around is preventing him from doing the laser. If you are, if your party is far enough from him, he will do the laser almost every time after you do a certain amount of damage to him. But uh, the scary thing is, he has a high chance of stunning your character. So if you're, if you don't have him cornered, and he knocks you far enough away, he can uh, do a back step and then do it right after it while you're stunned. So that's why I have a backup spell on hold, waiting for him to, you know, whenever he gives me any kind of look that he's gonna do it. So I let it go, and it that's a pretty much confirmed hit, and it'll knock him out of trying to do it. But the bad thing is, even though I have that little backup in place, he can still do it immediately again right after it, while I'm still stunned. So I was really scared in that situation that he might try to do it again, but I guess in that situation he decided not to. I'm pretty sure that's the only thing even these safe strats cannot protect against. Like if he does it immediately after you cancel him out of uh, doing it one time, I think that's rip. And if he lets that go, you're not living from that. <laughs> like it's... Your whole party's just out. The one thing that you can do though, while it is out, you can hit him out of it, but you have to be pretty quick on it because it comes out pretty fast. Now, um, I know about Star Ocean, but I never played it. But I hear it brought up a lot when comparing to the Tales of series. But yeah, that's big run ender number one out of the way. Now you do fight this guy again, and it'll be very soon. But I often think that's the easier one because just think of that fight and he has beefier stats, but he doesn't have any friends with him. So he's just by himself, but he's stronger. I think the only problem that may bring is the fact that, oh yeah, I'm out of holy balls. What am I doing? I used them all in the uh, Dallas Castle. The only problem that I think it'll may bring is since you have to actually last in a fight with him longer, he has a higher chance of unleashing a laser on you. But yeah, when I beat him there, like, he, he isn't dead. He escaped. Like, he time traveled. So yeah, he ain't dead. Like, you gotta time travel back to uh, the present time and fight him again. far from over <sighs> unfortunately but after that one it should be smooth sailing until the actual final boss and the final boss second form is just the worst thing in the world anybody who's seen me do a full run of this my only two times of completing this knows exactly where I'm going at by saying he's the absolute worst. I can't really think of any other boss who's worse than that. <laughs> but there's a... There's a couple of things uh, that can also screw me over, but not to the... Not as much as the, the things that I've already brought up.
Sub Zero Umbra. Yeah, my movement's still bad. But like I said, it's it's early. I'm not gonna criticize my movement just yet. I will soon, trust me. I've been I did it in Destiny. Really? I'm still in manual, that's right. I think I lost to the Dallas fight one time in my PB. <clears throat> but the second fight I first tried. Honestly, like the entirety of the Thor split, which is the next split, isn't this one. It has like a luck based section in it. I'll explain that when I get there though. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. There's not really too much to talk about with this one though. Like honestly, all I'm, all I'm really doing is going all the way back to what it seems back to the castle, but I'm gonna go back to the place where I did the Valhalla War and take a left instead. And go see the unicorn. Then I go up, cutscene, get into a fight with three evil lords, and that's pretty much it. Not really much to say about that one. You know, seeing all this dead comfy in here right now, I gotta say, it feels so wrong Seeing all y'all doing dead comfy and Tree Man ain't here with y'all doing it. I will say that. I come on. I, I don't know where he went. But I think Tree Man is dead, guys. You guys have to know that when somebody says they're going to bed, it takes at least an hour before they actually go to sleep. And I do mean at least an hour. I feel like I'll lose time on this one too. So I haven't gotten through the cutscenes and stuff.
But like at the same time, Kill, even though you're tired, you got nothing to wake up tomorrow too. Like you said, you're off till Saturday. Like I know when I'm off for the weekends, I I stay up as long as I can. Also, that shade complete just dipped out. <laughs> Didn't even say a word, just left. But yeah, if you don't know, like the halfway point's already been passed. After the uh, modern Dallas fight, there really isn't too much of the game left. It just seems like there is because like text mashing takes up more of the time. Fight is free. Oh, why did she dip out? Well, uh, it's actually story related. Um, the unicorn will only see a pure maiden, and in the past, Archie's had a boyfriend. Like, they actually explain it after this fight. Because they actually want to know why she left her. But yeah. She is not pure. She has had sexual intercourse in her life. And Mint has not. And pretty much, she didn't want them to know about that. So she just acted like, hey, uh, I'm going to go look for the unicorn over here instead. Cause she didn't want that uh, fact about it getting out. That's why. Like in this very part right here, it's about to come up. Y'all won't be able to read it anyway, cause I'm mashing through. Maybe you will. Like text is actually slow in this game. It's unlike Destiny, where you just hold a button and it just goes right through text. Right. Right here. E. I thought I pressed the X button and that would have canceled it and I wouldn't have taken the shortcut and I would have been very upset. Yeah, half elves are dirty half breeds, and everybody's like racist in this game against them. Like, nobody likes them.
Yeah, this is what this is was this right here was them trying to show off the pretty, pretty graphics. Nowadays that won't be amazing though. Fierce, <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> I seriously want SJ to do it. Like, I wasn't playing, I really want SJ to make the team. Like, I will shill the hell out of that team. I don't know. I really don't know if he made a team yet or not. Hello? What was that?
am I doing? <laughs> I need to stop using the X button for our text. That's messing me up. Trying to find out which door it is. Nope. Not that one. Okay, Let's see what it takes me to. Damn. Again. Huh. <laughs> Every single run has been straight to the computer room. This luck is crazy, man. Take that. It's because the mystic symbol went in on this game. In the 3D games, they started adding like, where you had like, listen to the entire speeches and stuff like that when they do those way more powerful spells. And that's why y'all gotta wait so long. run back and take the save for modern Dallas. Hello? I did it again, guys. Yeah, with that, you just cast whatever spell and then you just cancel it and recast it until it instantly casts. But still, that still takes forever. And I think that depends on how low your luck stat is, too. And manipulating your luck stat to be low is retarded because it randomly changes every time you go to an end. By the time you actually get it, get the instant cast, it would have been faster to just use a mystic symbol on the spell like normal. All right. Everybody, 
go for this. Okay, I don't know what exact number of glaives I should do to this guy before I switch to indignation, but I might do 15. See how it works. These sounds distortions, man. I really wish I knew that fix before I went live. Hippie told me there was a fix. He said, uh, damn, I forgot what it was. I have to go back in my logs and look at it. I got chatty open, so it's all good. But I don't know what exactly from word from word. Do you want the fix too? Or you're just asking me about it because you're curious. Wait a minute, I don't have that set. How in the world did that hit them at the back? Oh man, he's nullifying all of these, man. Should be up by the time that's it. If I'm not, okay. <laughs> I 
god. This guy doesn't fucking die. Oh, sweet. Damn! These are some unlucky casts, man. They just ain't hitting. Yeah, he's still got some HP left. There we go. Alright. Thank God that's over. King shit. I can say so far, I'm not really hating this run, really. First try, Dallas 1 and 2. Now, I guess the only thing left for me to first try is the final boss.
tell CFB about this too, because I think he uses Amaric as well. Because I hear those sound distortions when I watch him. equip her with a, the fairy ring. I was supposed to convert that before the modern Dallas fight. Doesn't matter. It only cuts TP use in half, so probably would have prevented more orange gel use, but those are easily obtainable. This is uh, the future. This is 50 years in the future. Alright, I'm about to watch my encounters here because this is where they're going to start hurting. Like, I was in the past for like, majority of the game. Because Dallas escaped 50 years into the future after you beat him in modern. Well, actually, after you beat him in modern, he uh he comes back 50 years uh, later in the future, and somebody from the future came back to the modern time to tell us about it, and that's why we're here. So pretty much how it goes is like when you first start the game, Dallas was sealed. Someone who's possessed by him. Um, sets him free in the modern time. Morrison sends you back to the past to find a way to beat him. You beat him in the past time, then uh, you go back to the modern time to the right, like right after the point where he uh, sends you to the past. You beat him again, then he, you end up fighting him in the future, 50 years later in the future. That's how it pretty much goes. But this is like the last time you fight him. You don't fight him to the very end, but like I said, it's not even gonna be anywhere near as long as the, the time you spend in the past. Like the past is like most of the game. Like after I beat him in modern, he wasn't dead. Like he actually survived through all that.
So that's what pretty much this whole game's about. Yes, you spend more than half the game in the past, because most of the game is actually, well, most of the story, I should say, is uh, in the past, where you're actually finding a way to beat him. Now you actually find out that he's in the past as well, so you beat him there. Then you go back to your present time in modern. He lives. Comes uh comes back 50 years later in the future. Since you're in the modern time, you know it doesn't affect you then. But somebody from 50 years in the future comes to the modern time to tell you that he's still, you know, running the muck, fucking shit up. That isn't confirmed, but I'd say no. Since he escapes, like, you don't kill him in any of the first two fights. He just travels in time to escape. Like, when you're in the future, you get a, a sword that controls a time and space to prevent him from running away. too many holy bottles. God. I guess the only thing I can improve on this is the vault fight itself. But of course I make stupid movement mistakes. That probably won't even matter if I do. You can win this fight, but it's not required, so I take a beating on purpose. That was actually quick. Huh.
I didn't really run into a fight, but man, this still can go badly. Who am I kidding? Just gotta remember, I'm using Ice Needles first, because he's been doing Thunder Blade like immediately as of late. This is really problematic. I'm supposed to be using those flare bottles first, but... Nice. Alright, this could go quickly like I intend for it to be. how I intend for it to go. Plenty of holy balls to make it to the, the town, I'm pretty sure. Should be enough.
You're not gonna owl me, son. Got the X button mashing. No, it wasn't. I'm running on a translation patch. Which is obviously not recommended for speed, but... After this run, like... Going back to the Japanese version. So, it's the last time you'll see it in English. Enjoy it while you can. What's up, Ella Hex? Yeah, there's two English packages for uh, this game. To be honest, the uh, I think this English patch actually slows the text down a little bit, just in speed, not the fact that it's in English. The other one doesn't, I'm pretty sure. But it doesn't matter because I'm about to go to the Japanese version here soon. Because I'm um, just by playing all this, I'm going slow. Like, honestly, the only reason I'm playing on this is because this is just training wheels. I'm about to take them off after this run. Stuff. Let me do this. Oh wait, I don't have any more. Of course. Keep forgetting that I ran out. Oh wait. I 
was supposed to use. Wait, it should already be a. Um... I'm a dumbass. <laughs> it should already be a uh... Chrono Glass. I was thinking of uh, another session that I did a bunch of conversions with the room bottle. Yeah, that time's supposed to be the Emerald Ring. Because I'm going to need it for the upcoming boss. Don't want to have a Hourglass instead of a Chrono Glass for him, because Chrono Glass gives you more time. Trust this place for a goddamn minute. Oh, holy bells right there. There's no sorcerers. Nope. Lucky me. Gonna have to heal in the next room anyway. So I might as well do it right now. dude would actually sell me the charms like he's supposed to, I wouldn't have to constantly heal my characters like this. Oh, fuck no. 
Dude. Okay. That's actually lucky. <laughs> That was Tidal Wave. And that hit everybody, that would have been a game over. Guaranteed. It's the one thing I'm scared of in the future. Just about anything that can cast spells can kill you if they hit everybody. At least in these places. Dallas's castle is no different either. Shit is terrifying. Can easily why can I never just stand on these things? I can easily just end your game that easy. And this guy's known for pulling some mess too. I'm pretty sure. Do not hit me out of Tiger Blade. Okay. That scared me, he shot a normal arrow for one second. Corner Glass is supposed to last just long enough for you to kill him. But sometimes he can... It'll... Go out and he'll have probably like about a second or so to live. If you do everything correctly. But it should be enough. It should last enough for him to die, or at least be unable to do some of the BS that he has. But the most terrifying thing that can happen is when you do your opening Tiger Blade towards him, that he can hit you right out of it. that wasn't an issue. I don't know if five is enough for me to get to the end or not. It should be. you take in those icy areas that I'm pretty sure is percentage based but I don't know how much percentage exactly ah oh, shit should have known this long room was enough stubs okay it's just frost kings this ain't bad I'll actually take that because it's like another free holy bottle use Should last me to the end if I don't mess up. <clears throat> yep, stand right there, and that's to ensure that I don't get any more.
Need me some lemons. Same rules pretty much apply here. It's just there's actually lava on the floor, so you can take a lot more damage. <laughs> As you can see. There's still random enemies to be feared around here, because they have explode. And that hits everybody that's game. Gotta take out these swords first before you can go to the boss. sword fight after this one.
nice fight. Take that. That was a nice landing. Damn bush babies. Alright. Should take me there. Hey, I remembered the forest. I 
should have just healed. I tried not to go balls to the wall with it. Whatever. It's a gold. I don't care. Nah, he got revived like right at the end. He still gets the experience. It's all good, it's all good, it's all good. That's the sword I was talking about that controls time and space. Sorry, almost over. Long ass cut seats on.
really gotta get that audio distortion problem fixed. What's up, Zigzag? I mean, it is the last cutscene before you go into the final area of the game. Usually RPGs got something like that. All I gotta do is just not let the second form kill me, and I can get a pretty big chunk of time back. I don't know how much exactly. This is another reason why I wish that I uh, locally record, because even though this audio is coming directly from Emirate Capture, when I record it, none of these audio distortions would even be in it. Okay. 
Nah, it's just the program does the for some reason. It's a dumb. There's a fix to it, it's just I didn't know there was a fix until today. Somebody told me as I was live. Honestly, I didn't think there was a way. Another thing is, it doesn't really do it this often. Also, I have my computer on long enough, and I have, so... <laughs> it's another thing to prevent it. Because, like, I got, uh, my streaming... I got OBS to, like, capture, like, any type of sound that I hear on my speakers, so... Whatever I hear... You're gonna hear it as well. That's why, like, the Skype comes in and everything. Laser blade. That's okay. Flight will just be a bit slower. Need to equip that fairy ring for the next part. I guess like this final part looks kind of like FF6 now that you mention it. Please tell me that doesn't hit me. Okay, thank God. that shit. Whew. <laughs> if I got caught in that, that would have been a game over. Straight up, would have been just a game over. Hi. <laughs> Man, I hate that part so much. So, she was not on my team at all. <sighs> but yeah, that's why I said, like, enemy spells in the future, pretty much at this point in the game, can one hit you if you let them do it 
for the most part, there are a couple of cases that you can live. That's why when I get like enemies sets that have some spellcasters and I try to like kill them ASAP. And usually they'll stick them behind like the melee units too, so have to like cast some spell. As much as I hate to do that. I just did it because if I tr would have tried to like revive them or something, I was afraid that I was going to get killed by the ninja. Because I didn't have a lot of health to begin with and I can take the ninja out if I would have just fought him. So I wasn't afraid to fight the ninja. And not to mention, the spellcaster could have tried to use explode again while I was bringing everybody back. Like I was confident enough, like the spellcasters don't have a lot of HP, it's just... The fact that they can cast some really strong shit. Like, most of their spells, like, range around, like, 2.5 to 3,000, uh, K in damage. And your max HP ain't even in nowhere near that. Because it's supposed to be the end of the game, and, like, I'm only doing required battles throughout this run, so... Pretty much any fight I get into... At this point in the game, I'm massively under level 4. And that's the last one. so I can go back in there. It's just a faster way to go back to get all your teammates. Because you gotta get them. I'll just use another one. It'd be very bad if I got into a random encounter and I'm just by myself, especially in here. If I got like two spellcasters on, one on each side, that would have been ripped. Ain't no way at all would have got out of there alive. And I didn't even save at all here, so... <laughs> that would have definitely been rip. But I got everybody back now, so... It's all good now. Oh, the ninja set. This is the one I would like to see, because there's no spellcasters. There's really no worries in trying to quickly kill a spellcaster and get away. this trap. How did I know I'd get it into an encounter like right after that? It's these profits again? Oh fuck. Okay. They have that one too, but that's that's just like child's play. Like I'll take that one. I'll take that spell any day. <laughs> take that one any day like it's almost they're messing with you like they're dropping a little toy hammer on you I'm like ha 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 like, you get this instead of a fucking nuke spell it's like shh lay sweating man face
This fight could be troublesome too. If the guy to my right teleports to the left, which he sometimes will do. He didn't do it! He didn't do it! Oh no. Mint is dead. Got to bring her back. Oh. Okay, I haven't seen that. I actually don't like that because now he can do that. Oh, it's over. It's over. You are done, buddy. Oh, you had your chance to kill me. Rip you. I love this threat so much. Just you're just so fucking spammy at this point of the game. <laughs> but unfortunately, there's actually one more boss that could be more spammier than you can ever imagine being. As until later, though. It's pretty much a lightsaber. It's called the laser blade. Oh, no, you don't. This guy can cast a spell, too. This is pretty fucking strong. Alright. Dude, always hides behind zombies, too. But yeah, the laser blade works wonders in this place. Like... Nearly every enemy is weak to light. The laser blade is light based. So it does a lot of added damage. get paralyzed. I thought that was me for like a split second. Oh, my bad, it was me. We both got paralyzed, really? Uh that's just troublesome. You need to use a panacea bottle on both of us. No, no 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 no. I hate those zombies so much. <laughs> the thing is that that status effect doesn't even end after the battle. Was she at least? No, she's paralyzed. Of course not. Why did I even think she could? Now I have to search where the whole Panacea bottle is in my menu. I don't fucking know. Now I'm gonna have to rearrange shit because of it. I, am I blind or do I just not have any more? Yeah, I'm blind. Okay. Like little situations like that. See, I'm... That just threw me off completely. I feel like slapping myself for that. <laughs> yeah, I, I really, really... You don't really deal with that situation too often.
try to save these holy balls for like the last stretch of the area where I have to do a bunch of running. Should have lost one before, yeah. This setup again? Come on, man. Worst person who can get stunned is your healer. Because even after battle, it lingers and they can't even use any healing spells because they're paralyzed. Almost did it again. Alright, so this is the last time I'm going to take one. Oh no, he's trying to get away. I see you. He blocked it! You fucker. Motherfucking fat ass giant took the hit. They're all dead, by the way. Oh, some of them actually lived. I am surprised that someone actually lived through that because every time he hit me with that, like, they were dead. But that's okay. I mean, I learned that it isn't a guarantee. Death for everybody. All right. So the rest of this is just running. I'll save these holy balls just for this. Hopefully it's enough, I don't even know if it is. It might be. I don't know, I didn't really pay attention to all that. Might not be enough. This is the last room. I don't know if that'll make it or not. Oh snap, it did. Hey. Alright folks, this is the final part of the game. Because of the second half's BS, I'm not gonna even take a chance. Second form, I mean. Yeah, he actually gets skills in this version. I think I kept. I never switched the Dara symptoms away. So that means. I'm gonna have to use a lot more gels for these next three fights. Okay, we'll see how that works. But yeah, Chester's a beast in this game. The only downside from Super NES to the rest of the games is they made him a bit weaker. But that's the trade, and it's I'd take that trade any day. Ready for this next part. I 
Alrighty, folks, are you ready? Yes. Well, in a speedrun setting, it is, because uh, his summons take a long time for them to come out and the damage to come, and it's not a good trade off in the end. Like, if you could get strong summons with him real early, he'd be way more useful, but for the most part, you only use him for Sylph, and that's to interrupt Douse from using Douse Laser. That's the only real use he has. And that's a really good roll if you ask me. What you hiding for, buddy? Come out to play, Douse. Oh no, he's spamming. He's spamming. Wait, did I not? I didn't. She's gonna try to cast a nurse. I knew it! I knew I forgot to turn that off. I mean, that helps now, but at the time of doing it, if he was going ham on me, that would have been really bad. No. Don't you die, Chester. I definitely need you for the next one. Can't have you dead while that starts. Oh, snap. Let's give you a miracle. You know I didn't want to do that. <laughs> oh man, his TP. Stunned. Oh man, what a bad time for that to happen. What a bad time for that to happen. What a bad time for that to happen. I got to keep hitting this guy <laughs> or bad things happen he's got to be close to death like come on man don't be playing me really you got to be close to dying bro oh man i'm gonna die oh chester got stunned no fucking way <laughs> Why? <laughs> why, dude? Just why? Why? Oh, man. Uh... Damn it, dude. Like, that's why I don't like anybody dying, because it's really hard to get back and recover from this. As you can fucking see. This boss is shit! This boss is shit! What the fuck? What the fuck? Really, son? Fucking really? Thank the lord that is over. Oh man, I seriously thought that was gonna be death. Alright. I'm gonna have to revive Archie immediately for this next part. Yeah, I got that because I died on him in the last run. Alright, let's go. Final form. Don't mind me, man. 
Don't die at me, man. All right, let's get these flare bottles rolling. Damn, Chester is taking all these hits. I don't like this. <laughs> oh, man. My plans are going to such shit. Don't do this to me. Stunned. Alright. Alright, that's the position I want him in. We can just keep this going. We should be taking this home. Alright, flare balls wore out. Gotta bring those back. Needing. Might need to use one more, but I only got one left anyway. Got out of the corner. Got out of the corner. I feel it. I feel it. He's close. He's gotta be close. Yeah, get back in that corner, buddy. I told you to get out. Alright. That punch! <sighs> Game! Set image. Bow! 533.45. But yeah, he has a lot of HP. <laughs> he is the final boss, so... King shit. Man, I was getting so scared on the second form. <laughs> Dude, what's up, Ness Kamikaze? <sighs> Lost 38 seconds on that fight. That was probably because, like, the fact that I had to do a lot of healing. And he was getting out of the corner and punching me a lot. Man, I'm not too mad at that, to be honest. I don't... Th I didn't lose at all, did I? That's with zero resets. Like, of course, I had the safety saves, but I didn't lose one time. Wow. It pretty much means that I need to stop losing now, or I'm going to lose a lot of time. Glad to hear that. That's Kamikaze. Um, were you planning on going to any of the GDQs in the future? Like, I know it's like 
it's way too late to be talking about SGDQ since it's like right around the corner. Oh, you're going to SGDQ? Oh, good. I'm going to be out there too. never been out to a SGDQ before so I was trying to make sure I make it to one wasn't expecting it to be in Minnesota though that was unexpected but it doesn't matter I remember I at your part was talking about going to a twins game. I don't know if that's still up in the air or what. If so I wouldn't mind jumping on that. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. I'm definitely gonna find out, like, while I'm over there, gotta go to the Mall of America. Shao Jackie overhypes the hell out of it. Gotta see what's going down. be honest, all the past other GDQs, we really didn't go out and do too much, and we'd always say that we were going to do something, but that ends up, it ends up like never even happening, <laughs> when we're even fully capable of, because somebody always has a vehicle. Oh, okay. Well, that doesn't matter. At least you can make, like, some days for it. I know with some job that's like asking for a lot to take an entire week off.
translation go between? Are you talking about the boat conversation right before you go to the bar inside the boat? Everybody seems to remember that part the most because of that DJAP translation on the Super Nintendo version. But if you're asking, no, it's nowhere close to how they did it in that one. I feel like in that translation, they tried to be like as vulgar as possible at any given moment. Just to be sort of special. Oh, okay, okay. I see. I remember like searching through I think I was like skimming through Peach's Twitter I saw like you and him were like doing some sort of bet or something that was like if y'all weren't at a certain um, weight by SGDQ or whatever your goal was I forgot you said you donate a dollar for each pound that you were off by it was something like that, I'm probably don't even remember it correctly. Yeah, everybody remembers that. I still have yet to finish the Super Nintendo version and I even own it. Maybe one day. Oh, fifty dollars! Whoa, fifty dollars a pound? Yeah, that's pretty serious, man. Like, I know you've been trying to get in shape, like, I think since like a year or two ago. But I know y'all are getting like, doing like weight challenges and stuff. It's crazy. But I guess that's like the ultimate motivator when you think about it. Alright, we can skip credits in this game so we ain't gotta watch this. Just get on with the epilogue and we are out. But you got plenty of time to do it. Okay, yeah. Got those office jobs. They don't they don't um, be passing around like donuts and stuff <laughs> and a bunch of junk food. It's like hey the boss bought um bought some pizza. Y'all guys want some? I couldn't help myself. But then again, like, I'd have to try really, really hard in order to gain, like, a ton of weight. Like, I'm literally skin and bones. I'm just a tall ass twig. That's all I am. Oh, that's a secret character you can get, but you don't get her in the run because you have to do a bunch of side quests in order to get her. You see her in one of the cutscenes, though. Let's see if this even. Wait, what? That's not it. There we go. <laughs> 